All right, hey guys, we're back here. Going to kind of pick up where this video left off. Uh, so we are taking a look at setting up all of the sensors and motors for the VEX controller. I apologize I don't have the controller or my uh, normal microphone here today. The audio quality might not be as good as you're used to, but uh, anyways, hopefully that will be back for the next video. For this one, uh, as you can see in the last video, we set up all the sensors. Uh, the video cut off before I could finish adding all of the digital sensors, but I just did it the same way um, that it says to on the paper. It's, it's quite easy, uh, so that should be okay right there. So we're going to just click Apply, and we're going to click OK, and we're going to eventually hook this thing up to the, uh, to the robot. So what you want to do is you want to plug in your cable uh, to the robot Cortex and to the USB on your computer and connect the battery and power on the robot now i was having some issues uh at the beginning you know the i couldn't really get the uh, computer and the robot to communicate and i believe it was because we needed to do a firmware update so if you come right here to robot and you go to download firmware and you go to automatically update vex cortex uh, and then click ok it only takes like maybe two minutes to download and install the update. I'm not going to click it again because I already did it so it's working. Uh, so we can just click, uh, you would click OK, I'm going to click the X to get rid of that. All right, so now once you have your thing opened and you can work it, you're just going to click uh, Compile Program and it should tell you there's no er compile errors right here and then you can download it to the robot. It'll give you a little uh, status bar and then the program will start running. Okay, so now you can see right here my debugger window opens up. Now for yours, you'll probably just be able to see the variables that are there. Um, if you want to see the, what you want to see is the motors and sensors. To get those to show up, you're just going to go right here to robot and debugger window. And then you're going to just check on the boxes that you want. So you can see I just unchecked motors and I unchecked sensors. Now we're back to variables, global and local variables. You can see uh, those are checked. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And let's get the uh, motors and the sensors back. Sensors back. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So now you have a tab here for sensors and then motors with PID. Uh, so we can just start messing with some of the sensors right here. Um, like for instance, you can look at the sonar feature, one of the coolest ones. Um, when I put my hand over that, you can see it's about three inches. I'm going to raise my hand up. I'm going to estimate about a foot. There you go, 10. Now it can help me. I'll go up a little more. Okay, there's about a foot above it. Then we can go up to two feet above it and back down to one inch, two inches, right? So that's what the sonar does. You can try moving your hand around it. Uh, you can also press the bump switch and you can see the touch sensor right here, the bump switch will go to one. You can try the limit switch. You can try covering up the, the light sensor. And the, uh, the page that I'm going to give you on Google Classroom will ask you to document the results of all these in your engineering notebook. Finally, right here, the motors. If you want to start a motor or turn a motor off, uh, you can just type in the power you want. The motors, I believe the maximum power you can have is 127. So you can do something like this. I'm just going to start with uh, like maybe 70, and I'll just hit enter. There, the right motor starts spinning. Then I can change it to zero to turn it off and hit enter and it'll turn off now i can turn on i can also make the number negative so for instance if i want to turn the the left motor let's say to negative 70 i can do that and it will spin in the reverse direction uh, for the negative 70. and let's turn that one off so right there uh oh oh gotta turn on the numlock there we go zero all right so we've turned things on and off we've messed with the sensors so what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of, uh, you're going to observe and record the sensors and your actions using this program. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.